So you've got that part though, right? We've got this going for us. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello? 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 Oh, I'll hello? <clears throat> hello? Can everyone hear us okay? <laughs> hello. Now you can hear me. Thank you guys for coming out. This is the uh, How to Make Comics for Kids panel. Um, we are going to begin with an introduction. I am Chris Bolton. I'm the writer of the book Smash Trial by Fire. And this is my brother Kyle. He's I'm the Kyle artist. Bolton. <laughs> and we're going to open up with a reading uh, from the comic, a short uh, excerpt to give you an idea of uh, some of the comic work Can that I we've done. Key? And we ask that you bear with us through any uh, technical glitches we may have. Right key? Nothing yet. Hang on. And here we go. The warehouse district. He's late. The men are in position, Captain. He's never late. Captain Ramsey, sir, we have to move now. If we wait any longer... All units be advised. Defender is on scene. Defender over here! Long meeting with your publicist. Smile for the cameras, old man. We've got a man inside who says the Magus has holed up in this room here with a couple dozen of his minions. Ha! Huh. I won't even break a sweat. Now his control room is here, but it's surrounded by armed guards and booby traps. So be careful this time. Just have a lot of handcuffs ready. A special bulletin from Action 5 News. Stupid Gareth Breedlove. I'd love to stuff a fistful of gum in his hair. We're coming to you live from the warehouse district where Defender is entering a building. What? Defender? Live? Rumored to be the hideout of the evil mastermind called the Magus. The Magus is considered the greatest and deadliest <laughs> chicken you've ever tasted. First we tenderize the meat, then... Hey! Change it back, Tommy. I was watching that. I have the remote, and I want to watch cooking. You don't know how to cook. Mm-mm. I love cooking. Love it all the time. Give me the remote. Hey, Andrew, who maimed the old gray mare? No. Charlie Horse. Ow. <laughs> Stupid jerk. And if you tell on me, I'll pound your other arm, too. If I was Defender, I'd snatch that remote right out of his hands, out of Tommy's hands, and punch him through the wall. Yeah, right. Like that'll ever happen. Wish I could see Defender catch the Magus. If I only knew where the hideout was, I could jump on my bike and... I finally get to see Defender in person! Back at the warehouse. Where are the lights in this place? Better tread carefully. The Magus is sure to have set a trap. Ah, there's the switch. Now let's see what kind of... Oh, mama. You want to dance, boys? I'll lead. 
How many times is the Magus going to try this? Before he runs out of minions. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever the Magus is paying you people, just can't be worth this abuse. <laughs> ah, and that leaves only one. I highly recommend you surrender. Yeah. Tell your boss I'm very disappointed. I expected a much better turnout after all these years. Never mind. I'll tell him myself. <laughs> Please stand by. Please we are experiencing technical by. difficulties. When we last left him, <laughs> not far away. Maybe Defender will make me his partner. He'll see what I can do, and then I'll show everyone. Well, well, if it is an old bubblehead. Where are you going, Andrew Crying? None of your business. If you want to get past us, you got to pay the toll. One dollar, wimp. Hey, get back here. Why don't you just send me the bill? Of all the times you run into Gareth, I've got to lose him. But how? Oh, man, this is so crazy. Just hope I can make it. You didn't actually think you'd get away, did you? <laughs> You're mine now, wimp. Whoa! Please, please, please don't kill me! Gah. I wanna live! Gah. Ow! Oof! Ouch! I must be alive, because I hurt all over. Ah, my wrist! Hope I didn't break it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Nowhere to run now, punk. Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy this. Inside the warehouse. Defender. Wakey, wakey. Uh, what? Where? It would be so rude of you to sleep through my moment of glory. It's gonna be a short moment, Magus. <laughs> Not this time, dear fellow. That device you're strapped to is the work of my best scientists. It will drain your powers and leave you an empty shell, like a discarded wrapper flung in the trash. I've been so looking forward to harnessing your powers for myself. Farewell, old friend. It's sucking the life out of me! Got to break free! Sink! Now I'll just pull this thing off. Ha! Too easy! That can't be good. Nearby... I'm warning you guys, if you get me cornered, I'm like a caged animal. The fee for running is getting your butt kicked. Holy... Ooh. I, I mean it. Stay back. Run for your lives! Inside the warehouse. <coughs> clear. All clear. Room is secure. Any sign of Defender or the Magus or anyone? Over here. This could be an escape route if anyone made it out alive. There's more in the next room. This room looks like the origin of the explosion. Call forensics in for a full sweep. I want to know if Defender made it out alive. You kidding? That guy could survive an atom bomb strapped to his back. Of course he made it out. Sir, we, we found something. Tear this place apart. If there's a body, I want it found. 
back at the construction site. Oh, feels like I took a nap for 10 years. What in the world hit me? That's weird. My wrist, it doesn't hurt anymore. Well, well, well. <laughs> You're still alive. That means we get to pound you. <laughs> Should have paid the toll, wimp. Maybe you missed it, but I just got zapped by some kind of space ray. Can we finish this later? Get him! What the? Since when can he run so fast? Man, this feels good. Oops. One moment, please. Sorry. Man, this still feels good. I'm not even winded. I could run all day. <laughs> This is too much work. <laughs> Let's go pick on someone else. <laughs> Whew! I'm too fast for them. That's weird. Yikes! Going too fast. Can't stop. Holy monkey! Yeah! Pardon me. Sorry about this. Am I really flying? This is beyond weird. I'm alive! I don't know how, and I don't care. I'm actually flying. Waha! Oh, oh boy. I'm up way too high. Better come down or I'm gonna spew. Gotta do it just like in the Defender video game. Slow down, come in low, but not too low. Steady. Easy does it. Almost there. Yep, it's too fast. I don't want to die! Oh, my tummy. Boy, that truck is wrecked. But the only pain I have is in my stomach. None of this makes any sense. Unless, maybe I died in that blast. And now I'm a ghost. Wow, look at that hole. I can't believe I survived that. If I'm a ghost, I wouldn't have crashed into the truck and Gareth and his goons wouldn't have seen me, right? This is the weirdest day ever. I'm going to go to bed and when I wake up tomorrow, everything will be back to normal. Andrew, you're back. Again, in tonight's top story. M Mom, what's wrong? Oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry. It's all over the news. After a thorough investigation, we have concluded that the superhero called Defender is officially dead. To be continued. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Set the Wacom. Set the Wacom now. The Wacom tablet. The Wacom tablet. So that's our graphic novel, uh, Smash Trial by Fire. And Kyle and I are brothers, and he's, been, he's the artist, I'm the writer. And we grew up reading comics, and we loved comics, and we wanted to make comics as kids. And we just had no idea how to do that. Like, it just seemed like when you would read a comic, it would be so big and complicated. And how do you do something like this? So it really took about 30 years before we finally worked together and, and made a comic. And at the time we thought, you know, this is actually a lot easier than we thought it is. Now, our editor is here in the audience and she might tell you it's maybe not as easy as I'm making it sound, uh, but it was easier than we thought. And we wanted to uh, share some of that experience with kids because I think that uh, especially with computers today, kids can do some really amazing uh, and really simple uh, comic work. So uh, while we're setting that up on the computer, uh, I wanted to talk about compromise. And I would love a show of hands how many kids here know what compromise means. Do you know that word? You know that word? Okay. Does anybody want to tell me what it means? What do you think? Well, no, because you're drawing in white. Is this for? Yeah. 
there's the brush. The, it's an eraser. Yeah, that A plus gold star for the day. That's absolutely right. You take two ideas and you try to work them together. And if you're the writer and the artist, obviously it's a little bit easier because you get to draw whatever you want. But when one of us is the writer and the other one is the artist, it takes a little bit more, well, we're going to say compromise. We don't fight. We don't argue. We just discuss in reasonable tones of voices. And if one of us has an idea and the other one has a different idea, what we've learned is the third idea is the best version. So that's the one where we put our individual ideas aside and we come together to make something completely different that we both agree with. So if Kyle wants blue and I want red, the simple version of that is we just come to purple. And usually we find it looks better than if we fight about, oh, I want this and, and you want the other. Um, so when we're working together, we talk over our, our ideas and we try to compromise, um, work out any arguments that we have, and once we agree on everything that should happen in the comic, then I start writing it. And the way a script works, it's really simple. It just says, page one, panel one, Smash flies to the moon. And I give that to Kyle, and Kyle draws uh, Smash flying to the moon. Are we close? No. No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have, uh, we're going to show you a little bit about our process once we get all the, the technical snags figured out here. Um, does anybody have any questions really fast about comic making? No questions? Oh, we have a question right here. You, sir. Yep, we're going to work, as soon as we get this figured out, which it looks like we're pretty close, we're going to work on trying. Um, I actually have a question. I would like to know how many people here like to read comics. Good. Okay. Um, how many like to write comics? Or, or just write, period. All right. And how many artists do we have? All right. Now, how many of you are writers and artists? Wow. That is really impressive. I have one more question. Okay. How many of you like to pick your nose? No? Oh, we have a couple of honest people. Good. Good. I appreciate honesty. All right, give it a shot. All right, we're going to give this a shot. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to tell Kyle what I want him to draw, and he's going to draw it right in front of your eyes if everything works out <laughs> the way we hope. Be very forgiving. <laughs> so what I need right now is I need a panel of Smash flying over a van with bank robbers who are getting away from a robbery. Right. Uh -huh. Uh, Maybe make it a full panel. There we go. There's the panel. So I'll put Smash right up here. And down here I'll have my car. <laughs> and here's the street. It's a hill. It's a hill. And here's <laughs> a building. You know, you could go around in front. Yeah, we can try that. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, we're going to try something. Oh. I'll hand it down. You go ahead. So another part of working together is things don't always come together the way that you plan them to. And so you improvise a little bit. And that's what we're doing now. So that's... <laughs> There's the van. Now this is, uh, this is a part of the process that's called thumbnailing. And Kyle's just doing a stick figure version of what the panel's going to be. Uh, because we can't look into each other's heads. So he can describe for me what he's going to draw, but it will still look different from the way that I think it should look. So we just do a really simple drawing with stick figures so that we both know where all the characters are going to go. He doesn't have to put too much detail into it. Okay. 
So do you see uh, the silhouette of Smash up there and then the car underneath it? Uh, so then we've got the word balloon, and now it comes back to me, and I, as the writer, I have to figure out what he's saying in that balloon, and I'm going to need a little help. Mm -hmm. So I need three suggestions from the audience for what Smash could be saying. You. We, oui, this is fun. I think it'd be pretty fun. All right, do we have a second one? Yes. Whoopee. <laughs> so he's really having fun chasing these bad guys. And do we have a third one here? Uh, yes, in the red shirt. Uh, I'm sorry, wow, that's a lot of cars? Loud car. Wow, that's a loud car. You know, I really like Whoopi, but I think it's really similar to the Wii one. I'm going to ask for one more suggestion from the crowd. Somebody who's got something a little different. Uh, you, sir. I've got to catch those robbers. OK. Now, when you're the writer and you write your own dialogue, one nice thing is you get to decide what everybody says. But in this room, we have to vote because we're being a little democratic here. So I'd like to see a show of hands. How many people vote for We This Is Fun? OK, it looks like three. How many for I've Got to Catch Those Robbers? OK, it looks like uh, about two dozen. And how about, wow, that's a loud car? About, oh, it looks like about four. All right, well, these were all really good, but the crowd voted, and we're going to go ahead and go with, I've got to catch those robbers. Right. Kyle sort of got that there. <laughs> so we know he, he, what was said. So at the top, we're going to need another panel. And thank you all for those suggestions. Those were all really great. Uh, can you just erase what's at the top and start over? <coughs> Actually, you just delete the whole thing. Do a fresh panel. All right, so we're going to clear this board, and we're going to do the next panel. All right, so this time, I'm going to ask Kyle to draw a picture of Smash uh, hitting the wall of a tunnel as the car goes through and gets away. It's a tunnel opening. Now, while he's drawing that, I just have to ask you guys, how many people have seen Frozen? How many people have seen Despicable Me 2? All right. Keep your hands up if you think Frozen is the better movie. OK, now let's see how many people think Despicable Me 2 is better. You know, I think Despicable Me actually won that one. How many people could stand up here and sing the Let It Go song? <laughs> I'm not going to let any of you do that. <laughs> that song will be in my head for weeks. All right, so this is still in stick figure form, but it looks like we've got, we've got kind of a dark tunnel. Uh, it's kind of hard to make out the shape of the car there, but the car is escaping through the tunnel, and Smash, unfortunately, didn't duck in time, so it looks like he hit the wall there with a splat. Now, I'm going to have the bank robbers saying something. Uh, so we're going to have a word balloon. All right, we've got a suggestion. You, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Probably what I would say. Uh, what do you think? Go faster, maybe he'll catch up. And one more in the green shirt. 
Money and fortune, here we come. <laughs> I want to throw one in to the mix here. I think the bank robbers might have just started singing Let It Go. <laughs> All right, so let's do a vote. How many people vote for yeah? All right, we've got, looks like about six votes there. Good. Uh, go faster, maybe he'll catch up. All right, we've got about 10 votes there. Money and fortune, here we come. Big, okay. And let it go. <laughs> One. I lose. Uh, so these were all great. Thank you for those suggestions. It looks like the winner is Money and Fortune, Here We Come. But now that Kyle has shown me this panel, I feel kind of bad that the bad guys got away and Smash crashed into a wall. So I'm going to ask him to redraw it and... Well, okay, if it was just Kyle and, if, it, if Kyle and I were the only ones working, I would say redraw it and make Smash uh, the winner here. Um, but since this is a much bigger room, I'm going to ask you guys, should the bad guys get away or should Smash catch the bad guys? How many want the bad guys to get away? <laughs> few people. Okay, how many want him to catch the bad guys? Catch the bad guys. And he's going to catch the bad guys. All right. Great, now while Kyle's doing that, Smash is definitely going to have, whoops, Smash is going to have some dialogue because he caught the bad guys, so he's got to be feeling pretty good. Uh, we're going to need three more suggestions. Who's got a suggestion for me? You, sir. Well, we can come back to you if you want to think about it for a little bit. Uh, the blue shirt. One, okay. <laughs> and since you both have blue shirts, I'm going to go with the one uh, behind you. What was yours? What's wrong with these people? Okay, we're going to use both those. Uh, so now we need one more. Have you thought of one? I'm sorry, what was it? <laughs> so these have been really great suggestions today. I'm just a little worried that I'm going to get put out of a job by you guys. All right, so these were all great, but we have to vote for one. So you're doing smash holding the pan upside down. Uh, so show of hands here, one down, millions to go. Okay, looks like we've got about six. Now, what's wrong with these people? Okay, looks like about 10. And if only math was that easy. <laughs> I think we have a lot of people who don't like math in this room. All right, so we've got Smash holding the car upside down. And Kyle's gonna draw the word balloon. Yeah, up there. And the winner is, if only math was just that easy. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> is that pretty easy to write with that? <laughs> and thank you guys for great suggestions. Give yourselves a hand. Those were really terrific. Uh, so this is just sort of an example of uh, the two of us working together. Um, really, something like this, I mean, we're using a MacBook and a Wacom tablet, not cheap stuff, but just paper and pens uh, really do the trick. Um, All and, you need is your imagination, basically. Yeah. And don't put up any walls. Don't think anything is too silly. Um, just 
put it on paper and just go with it. And it's fun to make up your own worlds. It's fun to make up your own characters. And you know, the more you, you know, polish the creation of them, the more real they become to you. They're going to become real to other people as well, especially if you believe it. So that's all I have to say about that. Great. Um, we have time for some questions. If anyone wants to ask, if uh, I think it's helpful if you come up to the mic over there, although a few of you might be a little short for the mic. Um, oh, we have a wonderful helper from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Your question, please. Um, well, what if you had trouble thinking of characters? Like, yeah, yeah, that, that happens. Uh, that happens more often than you could imagine. <laughs> uh, if if I ever have trouble thinking up a character, what I usually like to do is try and think of a real person, um, and then morph them a little bit. Like if there's a characteristic about them, like they have a really long face or you know tiny eyes or something like that I like to accentuate those kind of things and try and make that person my character so that if I ever see them I have a reference and I'll never forget it but that's that's only if it's like really hard to think up a character yeah I do something similar I, I start with people that I know and I'll change their names and details about them but if I've seen them and I know them pretty well it's a lot easier for me to try to imagine what sort of things they would say as a character and sometimes it's kind of fun, you know, when you, you have your friends and you can turn them into superheroes or even better supervillains. <laughs> um, sometimes, uh, you know, everybody kind of likes to see themselves in a comic book. So yeah. I think that's a fun place to start. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Yes. Hi there. What if you don't know what the scenery is going to be? What if you don't know what the scenery is going to be? I think the best thing to do is just go outside. And especially in a scene like that where he's going to be in the city or on the streets, I'll just go out to downtown Seattle and I'll see what's on the streets in the city. And if I have a sketch pad, I'll take some notes and stuff. But that's normally what I do. That's a good question, though. Thank you. How long does it take to make one panel? If I did it that way, it would take a very long time. But normally a panel doesn't take all that long. Um, it's the page itself and the fact that the page has to flow. So one panel can look good, that's fine, but the one next to it and the one next to it, they all have to work in a sequence to tell the story so that you just don't look at that one panel and get lost. So the page takes a long time, the panel sometimes not as long. That's a good question. Hi. Hey there. What inspired you guys to start making comic books? Uh, that's a great question. Um, actually, comic books inspired us. We loved reading ever since we were really young. We both uh, we used to share a bedroom a long, long time ago, and we used to trade comics with each other, and we never, ever fought over comics. We always <laughs> got along great and agreed on everything. And we loved reading those comics, and... It was just sort of our dream to, to make our own superhero comic. And then many years later, we were talking about, you know, what if we actually did make a comic? What would we do? And we started talking about, you know, when I was 10 years old, I just wanted superpowers. I, want, I mean, I loved reading about adult heroes like Spider-Man and Superman and Batman, but I wanted to wake up with superpowers and become my own guy. And Kyle agreed, and that was how we got started. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Um, Hi. How long did it take you to think of a story? How long did it take? It took a few Can years. I ask you a personal question? How old are you? Nine. You're nine? All right, it took us ten years. So you weren't even born yet. <laughs> so you are an example of how physically, how long it actually took for the idea to come together. Um, we tossed a lot of ideas around. We had a lot of potential ideas, um, but it really did. It, yeah, we started with a simple idea of a superhero kid, but in in building up his powers and Kyle designing his costume and creating the villains, that took a long time. Over, uh, yeah, over ten years. Easily, yeah. So you know, with your own ideas, don't be. I mean, it's, it's hard to, to be patient sometimes when you want things to be perfect right away. Um, but 
it, it's probably not going to take you 10 years to, to get an idea and, and make it all work. But if you, uh, you need to give yourself time to, to develop things, and if they don't come out perfectly right away, you just keep working at it yeah. until you get it the way that you want. Yeah, don't ever give up on your, on your ideas. That's important, too. Thanks. Thanks for your question. Um, what was your favorite comic book except Smash? <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think we'd say Smash? Come on. When I was a kid, uh, my favorite comics were Batman and X-Men. Um, and then as I got older, um, it, it changed a little bit. But when I was growing up, it was the, pretty much the same superheroes that kids are reading today. So. My favorite was Spider-Man. And I also read Calvin and Hobbes like crazy. Uh, the, I, yeah, how many people read Calvin and yeah, Hobbes? Yeah, is there any Calvin and Hobbes? Guys, oh, good, yeah. two hands even. That's yeah. beautiful. I love it. I, I love have, it too. It's my I favorite. I used to have two, but my brother ripped up one. Brothers. Sometimes yeah. brothers do things that we don't my like. My brother's a big fan of Batman. He's a big Batman fan? Yep. You see? It's right just on. like us. It's yeah. And, you know... They may do silly things like rip up your book, but over time, you might actually find that you like each other enough to work together and never argue about anything ever. Ever. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Thank you. Was it fun? Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah, making the book? Was yeah. It was, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's hard, though, sometimes, because the fun is actually uh, a lot of work. So I would go to work like all of your parents do, eight to five, six sometimes, and I'd come home, and instead of sitting down and relax, I'd go into another room and I would draw until 12, one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I did that for about two, three years. And it was hard, but yes, it was fun. And yeah, that's, what, that's what kept me going. Yeah, when you love something, it, it doesn't feel as much, it's work, but it doesn't feel like as much hard work. Yeah. Um, it's like if you have a, a school project and you know you, you don't feel like doing your homework but it's actually kind of a fun project I'm just gonna keep talking because I want to see how long I can keep you like yeah, inching <laughs> along <laughs> to your seat there <laughs> thank you for that question thanks for the question hi 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 did, did you ever have trouble um, making up a plot um yeah there were some times when um, there were some times when we would disagree about things that should happen um, when we first made Smash, we put it on our website. It was a webcomic, and it was free. And we would put uh, 10 pages every two weeks. And uh, when we first started, we were a few weeks ahead. But, you know, timelines kind of catch up on you. And after a while, we were sort of racing to meet our deadlines. And uh, there were some times where we decided, uh, you know, it's, it's getting too hard to do all of this. We better just cut this short and do something a little bit simpler. Yeah. Um, and then we'd feel bad about it, but it was the only way we can meet our deadline. And then when we got our, our book deal, we were able to, to go back and put some of those things back in that we didn't have time for. Yeah. And that felt really, really good. Because it, it's really fun to read now and go, yep, I really missed that part. <laughs> I'm glad that that part at the end is, is in there now. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thanks for your question. How hard is it to find a publisher? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a Sith Lord, then you can probably, you probably get there a lot easier. They'll just do whatever you say. Uh, for us, it, um, it, it took a few months. Actually, it was surprisingly not that hard. It, I would say it took about, from the time we got our agent to the time that we signed our book contract was uh, a little less than a year which might sound like a lot, but when you talk to some people, uh, you know, they could be trying for years and years. So we kind of lucked out, and we found a great publisher. Uh, Candlewick Press has been really amazing, and the book is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so everything worked out really, we were really lucky. Uh, but some people have been even luckier. So you never know, you might, within like a couple of hours, you might have a, a publisher of your own. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for the question. Hi. Um, Hi there. What, um, what website do you draw your final draft? Well, we put everything up on the Smash Comic website when we did have the, the 
the online web comic, and then we pulled it off the site and put it all into the book. So we don't actually put really anything brand new, uh, other than uh, character sketches I've done or announcements on the website. Thanks. Thank you. Do you have ideas for future comics? We have a ton of ideas. I, I could keep you here for hours. Well, what's uh, one of the main ideas? What's one of them? Yeah, what, what's one of your best ideas? For Smash or for another? For like a new comic book in the future. A new comic book? For a new comic book. Well, we're working on something right now that is a fantasy adventure uh, with two, the two main characters are 14-year-old girls. Um, and they don't get any help from any boys. And they don't have crushes on any boys. It's just, they're the heroes. And they do themselves. Thanks. Yeah. Basically, basically, we wanted something where if they get themselves into trouble, they're going to be the ones that get themselves out. And uh, we also want uh, a character dynamic where one character is the strong one and the other is not yet, and that strength slowly grows. Yeah. And so they're both basically going to need each other in order to do the things they need to get done. Right. So Smash was uh, kind of, we made a comic that we would have loved to read when we were 10 years old. And this book is, if I had a daughter, this is the comic I would want her to read. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've had a lot of inspiration for that one. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Wolverine? So, so uh, how hard is it to find an editor? Well, the editor actually comes with the publisher. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a two-for-one deal. Um, <laughs> so they might actually be right down the hall or in the same room. So they just, hey, we need you to edit this. It might be that easy. Yeah. So who really was your editor? Yeah, uh, there really was. Uh, yeah, we yeah. Had. Yeah, there was an editor, and um, we really lucked out because uh, Mary Lee was is the most amazing human being on the entire face of the planet and is here today. <laughs> and actually, she was great. Uh, we had a really great time. Um, she, uh, like I said, we, we, the comic originally was on our website, so she printed out the website, you know, every single page of the comic. It was probably 125 pages, and she used a red pen, and she went every panel, every line of dialogue, every detail, and if there was something she didn't like or wanted to change or maybe she didn't understand something, she circled it and made a note and made copies and mailed them to us. Like, no email. It was just one day this big package showed up with your entire book covered in red marks. <laughs> and surprisingly, it was really great. It was really fun to look through the book and think like, oh, wow, yeah, we didn't even think about that. That's yeah. great. That was, she had amazing suggestions that helped us make the book uh, much, much better. So editors can help. Yeah. How long did it take to think of Smash's powers? Think up his powers? Yeah. That didn't take very long. It took like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so I, see, when, my m favorite superhero was Batman. And the reason I like Batman is because he didn't have any superpowers. He, something else was driving him that gave him strength. And I always sort of admired that. Uh, and I looked down on people like Superman who had all the powers in the world <laughs> and the only thing that could stop him was a little green rock. Uh, so I, I took what I liked about Batman and I threw a little bit of Superman in there, um, but I still feel it's, it's, a, it's the best of both worlds. It's Batman and Superman and a little Spider-Man thrown in just for his sake. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, we, we talked about what kind of powers we would have wanted as kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. And. Um, we, you know, we were, at first we were trying to think like, oh, Spider-Man, he got bitten by a, a mutated spider and he gained the powers of a spider. Like, what would be an animal that we'd want? And we couldn't think no of animals. one. It was just really <laughs> simple. It was like, I wanted to fly and I wanted to be really strong when I was a kid. I wanted to be so strong that I'd never have to be afraid of anybody. And that was kind of the key to smash his powers. Um, just, he, he could be a kid who didn't have to be afraid of other kids anymore. Thanks. Thank you for coming. And we have time for we have time for two more questions. Is your book Smash in the library? It sure it is. is. Yep. <laughs> that was going to be a question. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also uh, selling copies at our booth in Artist Alley, right over here in the far corner when you walk out at LL14. LL14. Yeah. Yes, sir. How do you how do you get the idea to make like the word smash? Like, how do you get the idea to make the word like? How do we come up with smash? With yeah. like for his name? 
Very good question. Yeah. Um, I think it was you. Was it? Yeah. We were yeah. trying to come up with like cool sounding superhero names and I made a big long list of names that I thought would be really awesome. And we put one of them in the book because it's kind of a ridiculous name, but it seemed to us like something that it, we would have thought was cool when we were 10 years old. He wants, so uh, Andrew has a, a fantasy of himself as a superhero and he calls himself Sparrowhawk because he thinks it's a cool sounding name. Sparrowhawk. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as we were talking about the name, we started thinking, you know, what if he didn't get to name himself? What if he did something silly in front of a bunch of people and everybody laughed about it and then that nickname stuck to him and he ends up hitting a steel girder and it makes a big smash. And this construction worker says, ha ha, smash. Right. And, and the then newspaper they, take hold of it. Yeah. They interview him on the news and he says, yeah, that should be your name, smash. And so he keeps trying to get everyone to call him Sparrowhawk, but by now everyone's calling him smash and sort of reminding him of his, uh, you know, his first mistake all the time. And the and one thing that made us feel, or at least made me feel the best about picking this name was I was at a comic convention here years ago, and I went up to my comic book idol, Michael Golden, and I said, I, I'm a huge fan. I've always liked your work. This is the book that, you know, you were the reason I was able to make this book and inspire me. And I showed it to him, and he goes, smash. It's so simple. Why didn't anyone ever think of that before? <laughs> and I, I just felt great. I'm like... Yeah. If a comic book creator 30 years in the business can say, great name. Yeah, we later yeah. found out through Google search that a few people actually have used the name <laughs> over the years. But they're not really publishing anymore. So yeah. we think it's our turn. We got lucky that way. So thank you. That was a great question. Thank you. And thank you all yeah. uh, for coming in here. Um, for the kiddies, we got free posters. Yeah. If anybody, any, so if any we, kids we want free posters, posters, we have some up here. For you guys. And if anyone has any questions that we didn't get a chance to answer, come on up. Yeah. Hi. We are too. Awesome. We haven't even told our editor about it yet. She liked it. Cartoons and in comics, the moment where the boy grabs the rope, pulls her up the hill or whatever. Because the women I know, all they're pulling me up the hill. Like our mother.